Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and today I am going to present you people very important philosophy of project planning and scheduling which is called WBS, Work Breakdown Structure. I am going to present this concept from very scratch level to the advanced level that how as a site engineer, as a non-planning engineer you can understand this concept right so don't go away and stay till the end of this video and before getting into the detail i would request you people to subscribe this channel so that in future if i make any video which is relevant to skills job career like uh, career development you can get that notification on time so let's start right now i am on primavera p6 dashboard and i can switch from activities window to the wbs window work breakdown structure is actually uh, to break down your project into smaller and more manageable parts so that we can plan and uh, manage our things on you know in, during planning and tracking in more effective way let's say uh, if i have a project like uh, i can give example of this is a road construction project building pipeline transmission lines anything which you can imagine as per your engineering field you can just imagine in the place of this green box that is as of now your project now as of as a whole if you are imagining right now there is a building road pipeline it is kind of very uh, difficult how to manage the work because as a whole you can't do anything until unless you make its more deviants like design and construction this deviant has given me an insight like okay design and construction these in the shape of design and construction my project will be more manageable i can manage my skilled oriented people to the designer to the designing field and to the construction people to the construction box right if i can further break down design into basic design then detailed design right and same way detailed design into the you know, engineering discipline work packages like civil drawings, mechanical, electrical, plumbing drawings, and same way construction will be divided into civil works, mechanical works, and electrical works, and so on. In civil works, you can find building. And as I'm sharing this uh, slide with you, just to build your concept that what does mean by work breakdown structure? When I was on that top level, project level, I was having very less information. But when I started breaking down all of this information into more manageable components like project into design construction then design into further this one and then this is into further like this one so at this level i am more confident i have more understanding about my work about my duration about my cost about my resources right so that is the purpose of creation of this wbs this is project planning very important uh, tool and technique to document your project scope. You have to document your project scope inside Primavera P6, but with the help of this uh, technique, which is called WBS. So now I'm going to share with you that how to do this one on, like I'm going with power plant. So if I'm going to click on this top right corner here, you can see, you can make a power plant. There are civil works. First of all, I can go by this one, civil works. Then there is... I can just make right click add there are mechanical works right and again I can make over here and there are electrical are uh, this is something yes like this one these side arrows you can use if mistakenly you have electrical works I will be coming on that point as well electrical works right so now I have divided my project into further components that within this project, I have to do civil works, mechanical and electrical. This is my WBS level one. Before getting into the further detail, I should make sure are familiar you people with the dashboard that here you can find there is one WBS code. Let it to be developed by itself. WBS name. It is your duty to make their name as per the specification of your project. Then total activities, which is not existing at the moment, WBS category and many more other things. If I can right click over here, I can just click on columns and I can go on customize and I can customize this dashboard. Further, I can find many other things like uh, there is a budgeted total cost, something like that. If I want something like that on my WBS dashboard, I can take this one from this side to this side, right? This one. 
if i need i don't need wbs category i can kick it off apply and like this way see and this is my gantt chart for wbs like timeline and uh, if i can make like time scale apply i can make synchronize by time scale i need to select over here project start date right this one so now i will be able to further break down my civil works how what are the you know documents which are going to help me out to create there is a boq there is a organizational process assets in which you can find your specific project wbs templates opa benchmarking templates like other projects which are already done you can take the uh, you know uh, guideline from those documents so right now civil works as per common sense we know that within civil works we can further divide either it into the substructure and superstructure so i am going to divide it into the second level which is called substructure and then the next one is add and it is superstructure okay then meanwhile mechanical will be divided it into the you know piping works then tank works as per our boq and the specification of our scope of work tank works right within electrical you have grid station you can have further you know if as per your boq right now you can understand that how our project is going into the details like our power plant construction project is into the civil works and then further civil works this is second level so our wbs is usually taking the four levels like uh, more than four level as well there but it totally depends how we need to approach up to the activity level here i am going to share with you the template that uh, this is your project the higher level is your project level then you are going to divide your project the top level is called control account this level of wbs is going to be called as control account then further you are going to divide your wbs and then further you are going to divide your wbs uh, at this level see it the story is going on and on it depends as per your project specification and then there will be a level which can't be broken down at the further level right so that would be called as work package work package within this work package we can there will will be loading of activities right activities all the activities which we are going to load inside this activities window so that is the template the top level is called wbs control account level the lowest level inside which the wbs uh, breakdown will be stopped but activities will be incorporated are loaded that package uh, wbs level is called work package in between work package and control account the wbs are called planning packages right so that is the simple template uh, right so if i can just switch to the activities window how it looks like see the level 1 is showing in the shape of green color the yellow color is showing level 2 and here we are in the wbs but here a lot of people are going to make mistake if you can see your wbs like this way this is not the way you need wbs structure so very simplest way you need to click again and click again it is going to reactivate your hierarchy our branches our node format we can call it our parent child this format is called node format or parent child this is the parent this is the child if i can make like this one these are three child for my whole project then further civil work is further broken down into this one so these are the child now this is the parent this is the grandparent for this one so that is how you can understand the things right it's very easy to understand our project can get from simpler wbs level to very higher and complex level wbs right in which i am going to make substructure into foundation superstructures into columns something like that like uh, within substructure you can make our foundation one and uh, then further foundation two okay something like that in our superstructure you can make your columns then you can make here within beams then roof 
टॉप रूफ राइट ओके एंड देन यू कैन सी दैट विद इन मैकेनिकल यू कैन मेक पाइपिंग वर्क एम ई पी वर्क एज वेल सो दिस इज आवर एक्टिविटी लेवल डब्ल्यू बी एस लेवल थ्री वन राइट थर्ड वन सो फाउंडेशन एंड ऑल दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड सो दैट इज हाउ वी आर एक्चुअली मैनेजिंग दिस वन सो हाउ डज दिस हिरारकी स्ट्रक्चर इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अस आउट वी कैन यूज दिस साइड लाइन एरोज एज वेल दीज एरोज यू कैन सी राइट नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड these arrows can help us out it can help me to make my any wbs upward downward and breaking the logic right now foundation 2 is the child of substructure so if i want to make foundation 2 at the level of substructure i need to use outward arrow like this way and now you can see it is outward right you can see over here it is already at this level at this level this and this at the same level and if i am going to use inward arrow like this one what is going to happen i am going to select this one and see and what happens now you can see what happens just stay this one so these arrows are going to play a very important role don't underestimate the power of these side arrows okay so that is how you can add different kind of uh, you can say columns you can use these side arrows you can use the concept how our wbs structure would be it is also called top to bottom layout right from project to very lowest level of work package you have to break down your project into smaller components and then another thing within this layout you can make here show on top wbs table right now we are inside the wbs table gantt chart okay that's already this is gantt chart right and uh, inside this layout you can go show on top this is gone this is only wbs table and if i am going to show over here gantt chart timeline will be visible over here and then if i can show here chart view so it is looking like this one see a very important one to understand for presentations and all that okay and again i am getting back to the same situation like my gantt chart right and again if i can show you here show on bottom there are only two options wbs details this is a further information for every single wbs like for civil works if i can go for general i can put up my wbs code the responsible manager i can create my single manager under obs organogram organizational breakdown structure and i can give the responsibility to as per the hierarchy of obs i can you know connect these one like rajesh i need to be selected on this that guy is responsible for this substructure for foundation one for foundation two and for superstructures i need an other manager like adnan and i will be selecting over here for mechanical works i need another manager like this one Uh, by name i can say that uh, director structure mr faisal right so that is how you can assign these respective roles to your wbs as well and furthermore notebook any important information budget log spending plan budget summary wbs milestones and earned value which we you need to understand later on i will be explaining in my upcoming video right so that is hierarchy branches node format parent child and in this important video i can also help you people to understand that how ai is going to help you people right install primavera p6 right now install chat gpt the free version is also going to help you a lot that how you need to understand even you are a you know fresh engineer you are having no exposure many people are going to ask me this question that we need to spend 1 2 3 4 years of uh, before we should start this plan no 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 need this time you have ai start learning from ai start learning from youtube start learning from different kind of blogs start reading them out then choose one of the you know best trainer in the town and start learning from that platform but before that if you want to work to get confidence to check your understanding adaptability with that skill use chat gpt it's going to help you a lot so how chat gpt is going to help you in this regard so right now i am going to share with you people 
so here we have chat gpt you are so we call it uh, you know prompt so prompt is to communicate with your uh, chat gpt or ai so you are my construction project expert manager for building construction projects i need you to generate building construction wbs template in node format you can find this prompt template in this video detail as well and you can copy from here because learning chat gpt is gonna help you a lot in your upcoming job career milestones so i have just given primavera p6 authority that you should act as a project manager expert for building construction projects and i need you to generate building construction wbs template in node format node format in hierarchy way uh, as per real industry scenario okay make it enter and let's wait that what it's gonna cook so this is for the people who are not aware with the different templates you can go with this prompt add mep add whatever see project management usually i'm not going to add the first one this is i think chat gpt customized every time this is very higher level planning so designing site subcon see everything is there so you can create your own templates and start practicing on primavera p6 this is the very important thing mep works conduit cabling panels dbs and all that see this is very extensive first level you have to select designing site preparation substructure superstructure level two is foundation and all that see that is how you are going to create your own wbs i have given you the hints as well so don't forget to write in the comment area that how this video was helpful to understand wbs philosophy while doing your project planning and scheduling again I would repeat it that this skill set which we call scheduling or planning using Primavera P6 is going to be very very important for engineers in upcoming years when you are going to think like oh should I should had uh, learned all of these things in my earlier stage of job career so if you are not going to regret in upcoming years you should start it now to learn and for learning in more professional way you should join my upcoming batch in which i am going to deliver epc planning construction management shutdown management from very basic level to advanced level as per gulf region industry practices see you inside my session and also don't forget to comment in this video thank you very much